On May 15, 2025, Russia's United Aircraft Corporation, through its Sukhoi Design Bureau, unveiled the advanced features of the upgraded Su-57M, a fifth-generation stealth fighter jet poised to enhance Russia's air combat capabilities. This milestone, highlighted by test pilot Sergei Bogdan during a presentation in Moscow, marks a significant leap in Russia's pursuit of a cutting-edge multi-role platform designed for air superiority, ground attack, and maritime strike missions. Equipped with artificial intelligence, AI-assisted systems, enhanced stealth architecture, and long-range radar, the Su-57M aims to redefine the technological benchmarks of modern fighter jets. The aircraft's debut underscores Russia's commitment to advancing its aerospace industry despite ongoing challenges, offering a glimpse into the future of its air force. The Su-57M, an evolution of the baseline Su-57, represents the pinnacle of Russia's PAK-FA program, initiated in 1999 to develop a stealth-capable successor to the MiG-29 and Su-27. The original Su-57, which first flew in 2010 and entered limited service in 2020, faced production delays and technical hurdles, exacerbated by international sanctions following Russia's actions in Ukraine. By 2023, only 12 Su-57s had been delivered to the Russian Aerospace Forces, with plans for 20 more in 2024, according to United Aircraft Corporation head Yuri Slusar. The Su-57M, developed under the Megapolis program, addresses these shortcomings with upgraded mission systems, improved reliability, and a new engine, aiming to position Russia competitively against Western fifth-generation fighters like the US F-22 Raptor and F-35 Lightning II. At the heart of the Su-57M's advancements is its airframe, which has been redesigned for superior aerodynamic performance. The aircraft features a wider fuselage, measuring approximately 14.8 meters in length and 9.8 meters in wingspan, with a height of 4.6 meters. This configuration enhances lift and stability at supersonic speeds, enabling the jet to sustain Mach 1.6 speed without afterburners, a hallmark of true fifth-generation fighters known as supercruise. The airframe, constructed with composite materials such as polymer, fiberglass, and aluminum honeycomb fillers, weighs approximately 18,500 kilograms empty and has a maximum takeoff weight of 35,000 kilograms. These materials, combined with stealth-optimized shaping, reduce the aircraft's radar cross-section, reportedly to 0.1 square meters from the frontal aspect, though its rear aspect stealth is less refined compared to Western counterparts. The Su-57M's propulsion system is a standout feature, powered by two NPO Saturn AL-51F1 engines, each delivering 11 tons of dry thrust and 17 tons with afterburners. These engines, an upgrade from the AL-41F1 used in earlier Su-57 models, incorporate glass fiber plastic inlet guide vanes and a serrated nozzle design to minimize radar and infrared signatures. The AL-51F1 engine offers a 15% improvement in fuel efficiency and a 20% increase in thrust-to-weight ratio over its predecessor, enabling a maximum speed of Mach 2 and a range of 3,500 km at subsonic speeds. In late 2024, United Aircraft Corporation reported the testing of an alternative, non-axisymmetric, flat nozzle, which further reduces thermal signatures without requiring significant airframe modifications. This adaptability underscores Russia's focus on iterative improvements to maintain the Su-57M's relevance. The aircraft's avionics suite is equally impressive, integrating AI-driven systems that streamline operations. Test pilot Sergei Bogdan emphasized that the Su-57M's onboard systems can be initialized with a single button press, reducing pre-flight checks from minutes to seconds and enhancing mission readiness. The AI assists with navigation, target acquisition, and system diagnostics, reducing pilot workload and allowing focus on tactical decision-making. The core of the avionics is the SH-121 Multifunctional Integrated Radio Electronic System, featuring an N036 Bielka Active Electronically Scanned Array ASA radar mounted on the nose, supplemented by two side-facing ASA radars on the aircraft's cheeks. 
The side bays typically carry R-74M short-range missiles for close combat. For ground attack, the jet can deploy KAB-250 or KAB-500 precision-guided bombs and KH-38 air-to-surface missiles. This configuration provides 360-degree situational awareness, with a detection range of up to 400 kilometers for air targets and the ability to track 60 targets simultaneously while engaging eight. The radar's low probability of intercept mode enhances stealth by minimizing detectable emissions. The Su-57M's armament is housed in two tandem internal weapon bays, each 4.4 meters long and 0.9 meters wide, and two smaller side bays near the wing roots. This internal storage maintains the aircraft's low observable profile, accommodating up to 4K-77M air-to-air missiles per main bay, designed for beyond-visual-range engagements with a range of 200 kilometers. External hardpoints, used when stealth is not a priority, increase the payload to 7,400 kilograms, including hypersonic Kinjal missiles, which have a range of 2,000 kilometers and a speed of Mach 10. The integration of hypersonic weapons aligns with Russia's broader strategy to counter advanced air defense systems, though their operational use remains limited. Electronic warfare capabilities are a critical component of the Su-57M's survivability. The jet is equipped with the L-402 Himalayas Electronic Warfare Suite, which includes radar warning receivers, missile approach, warning systems, and active jamming pods. These systems enable the aircraft to operate in contested environments, countering enemy radar and infrared-guided missiles. The Su-57M also features an infrared search and track system, the 101KS Atoll, which provides passive target detection at ranges up to 100 kilometers, further enhancing its ability to engage stealthy adversaries without relying on radar emissions. The combination of electronic warfare and infrared search and track system positions the Su-57M as a versatile platform capable of adapting to diverse threat scenarios. Operationally, the Su-57M builds on the limited combat experience of its predecessor. The baseline Su-57 was deployed in Syria in 2018 for combat evaluation, conducting strikes with standoff munitions, and reportedly firing missiles from Russian airspace during the Ukraine conflict in 2022 to avoid contested areas. These missions highlighted the jet's potential as a long-range strike platform, but also its cautious use due to concerns about technology capture. The Su-57M, with its enhanced stealth and AI integration, is expected to take on more aggressive roles, including penetrating advanced air defenses and engaging in air-to-air -air combat. Its supercruise capability and extended range make it suitable for operations in vast theaters like the Arctic or Central Asia, where Russia seeks to project power. The Su-57M's development has not been without challenges. International sanctions have restricted access to Western avionics and microelectronics, forcing Russia to rely on domestic or alternative suppliers, which has delayed production. The Komsomolsk on Emmer aviation plant, where the Su-57 is manufactured, has struggled to scale output, delivering only single-digit numbers annually until recent expansions. In August 2024, United Aircraft Corporation announced new facilities to boost production, with mass production of the Su-57M slated for 2025, as confirmed by Rostec CEO Sergei Chemezov. Despite these hurdles, the Su-57M's open architecture allows for incremental upgrades, ensuring longevity over a projected 40- to 50-year service life. This adaptability is evident in plans to integrate unmanned aerial vehicle operations, with the Su-57M potentially controlling the S-70 Okotnik Heavy Unmanned Combat Aerial Vehicle, which shares its stealth coating and AL-51F-1 engine. Comparatively, the Su-57M holds its own against Western fifth-generation fighters, though it diverges in design philosophy. The F-22 Raptor, with a frontal RCS of 0.0001 square meters, prioritizes extreme stealth and beyond visual range combat, but its production ceased in 2011, limiting its numbers to 187 units. 
the F-35, with over 1,000 units delivered, emphasizes network-centric warfare and sensor fusion but sacrifices speed, Mach 1.6 maximum, and maneuverability for versatility. The Su-57M, with a top speed of 2,600 km per hour and super maneuverability from 3D thrust vectoring nozzles, excels in close quarters combat and high-speed engagements. Reflecting Russia's emphasis on adaptability over absolute stealth, its radar and electronic warfare systems are comparable to the F-35's AN-APG-81 and AN-ASQ-239 suites, though the F-35's data linking capabilities remain unmatched. The Su-57M's introduction marks a pivotal moment for Russia's aerospace industry, signaling resilience in the face of adversity. Its AI-driven systems, stealth enhancements, and supercruise capability position it as a formidable contender in modern air combat, capable of addressing Russia's strategic needs while appealing to export markets.